Over the last few years, more and more people are now owning 3D printers. To become proficient at using these machines, we need to learn how to make 3D models, how to export that into a file that the printer can read, and how to set up and control a printer. There's one more level above that. To really get a good knowledge of your printer, you need to understand the file that the 3D printer reads. This is because it's often quicker and easier to edit parts of this file than trying to work out what's going wrong when you make your model. It's important when problem solving your printer. Say for example, the heated bed don't heat up. Now, is it something wrong with your printer or did the program simply not turn it on? Now, having an understanding of G-code, we can tell what's wrong at a glance by looking at the program. Not only is G-code a fun language to learn, it's really quite simple. It uses a collection of G-codes and M-codes and values to build up a geometric shape that we can read easily and see what's going on. Now the Slicer program produces a G-code format so we don't have to worry about positions, but having a good understanding of the G-codes and M-codes within that language makes it very easy to see at a glance what is going on. To gain a full understanding of exactly how your 3D printer works, enroll today to learn G-code, the language of 3D printers.